This is, Wheeler, this is a challenge here. The, so you mentioned earlier when you were talking about Kiefer that um, uh, Desert Bus, that Kiefer may, may not be watching Desert Bus as we are not a Korean drama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, uh, Kiefer's great. What, in what ways could we change Desert Bus to make it a Korean drama? What, what, what are the, what? Terrible shaky cam. Terrible shaky Terrible cam. Terrible shaky cam. It, okay, so... Kiefer's kind of a K drama snob. Oh he's, wow! He's and so he <laughs> this go this runs counter to what K dramas usually are just all about because he hates K dramas with romance in them. That's every which, single one. See, that's the thing. That's about <laughs> eighty-five to ninety percent of them all just are like, okay. Are they like Japanese TV shows where it looks like they're filmed on like handy cam video stock? Yes. Very they similar. use different cameras. Japanese J dramas will often just have like one type of camera. Basically, it's one shot for everything. Right. K dramas try to get a little more depth to them. Okay. Um, but there are so many K dramas that are that just profession, profession. You now want to smooch. The end. I started watching Iris, thinking it was a spy show. It ostensibly is, but no, no. Huh. No. Are, are, Wheeler, are they good? <clears throat> yes. Once it, it can take some getting used to, uh, as far as like the pacing, as far as the the tropes that you'll start to recognize on the third K drama that you watch. Um, but they're they're pretty good. Again. You, if you want to avoid the ones that are just cheesy romance, it will be harder to find them. But there's a growing population of K-drama fans right. that really hate all the romance in it, and they just want the good stuff. Hmm. And those are great, but so limiting. I, I started watching one on Netflix because I was curious. And... Uh, it, very, very quickly after the beginning of it, I, I realized a curiosity of Korean television, which is that uh, you can have uh, guns, characters can have guns, mm -hmm. but uh, knives are a problem and are often uh, blurred out. Yeah, there's uh, basically any kind of excessive violence yeah. is going to be censored. So it was very strange watching. A, it was a. It was like broad daylight. Someone like menacing somebody in a car, and a bunch of police show up, and they all pull their guns on the assailant, who then pulls around an yeah. enormous black blurry shape <laughs> and brandishes this mosaicked out and just brandishes it yeah. at the police. And it, I did not realize <laughs> that it was actually an enormous combat knife. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you think about this? Question from the back. Are you sure it was a combat knife? <laughs> it was later established to be such, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, Johnny Glitch, I assume that's the case, that it's that guns are uncommon but knives are accessible. That's, wow, there you... How did you do that? that the that's the scene. One? Probably. Anyway, that's an example, right? It's like the bolt blurred out. It's very, it was very odd. Yeah, maybe it is. I mean, WWE has said that they. This is why they do like uh, sledgehammers and kendo sticks instead of baseball bats and golf clubs, because it's like it's more likely that a kid would come across a baseball bat or a golf club. Okay. I may be wrong because a lot of this information comes exclusively from these K dramas, but the law enforcement is allowed to have guns, and then knives are what is commonly used for the criminal activity uh, throughout the dramas, because as you said, it's something that is readily available to anyone to get, and then to do heinous crimes. Hmm. So maybe that's what. Hmm. Uh. Okay, so what, what, I guess we sort of went off track there. Uh, what do we need to make Desert Bus more like a K-drama? A lot more um, dramatic music with exits and entrances mm -hmm. uh, a recurring song that is basically like a touchstone to let the audience know that um, there are feelings here and both of these people have them but they don't know it yet that okay. the other one has it um, a lot of shouting 
Okay. Well, uh -huh. We got that. <laughs> a lot of running. We uh, don't do that. We try, we, we try to minimize the it's running. That's smart. Um, and all of us need to be... <laughs> There seems to be a recurring theme that I've only recently picked up and then proceeded to ruin several K-dramas for Kiefer because of this. But there's a recurring theme of main characters having, like, a, a, a career path and then an abrupt change to something completely different. And all in, all like, total, this would require, like, 14 years of schooling. And the character is 27. <laughs> or, 20, or 26. So, like, they'll be like, they were a psychologist and then became a defense, or became a prosecutor. The amount and, of, like, v like veteran special forces soldiers, like, colonel mm -hmm. rank special forces soldiers yeah. at, who are 22, who are suddenly another profession is unreal. <laughs> like, you are so, not wrong. I was just laughing. I almost did a spit take at Lunsford saying this, uh, this just describes the beginning of Zeta Shift. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> rotate the careers. <laughs> 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 I'm a producer now.